Hello, it's Nigel Bowden here. Um, just here with a quick video about the Wi-Fi console feature on the WLAN Pi image. Uh, it's been in the image since around about version 1.7 and uh, it's pretty useful. I'm not sure that too many people know about it, so I, th I thought a quick video might be uh, might be useful. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just give us a uh, set the scene of what we're going to be trying to do here. So what we're trying to achieve is to get a wireless uh, console connection to a piece of equipment somewhere. Uh, so we've got a diagram here which shows uh, a uh, switch or, or router or some sort of some piece of equipment in an equipment room. We actually want to get a uh, serial connection to it to the console port, so we can make some configuration changes, do some diagnostics, uh, and quite often we'd normally get the laptop and uh, plug our serial cable into the switch and uh, sit in a cold room. Uh, but what's really nice, we can actually uh, hook up the WLAN Pi. Uh, connect it via a USB port uh, uh, and uh, have a USB to serial uh, cable converter and then hook up our serial cable uh, into the uh, switch uh, um, we can actually use the wireless NIC of the WLAN Pi to uh, broadcast out an SSID that we can connect to from our laptop hopefully in an adjacent room which is nice and warm and, uh, and then we can actually fire up a, uh, a session to the um, uh, to the switch uh, to, to emulate a serial console connection. So I'm just going to run through a demo of how we actually do that. Probably sounds more complicated than it actually is. So I'm just going to fire up my WLAN Pi here. So here we have a WLAN Pi that I've got on the desk next to me. I've got a camera set up so that you can see what I'm actually doing. And um, it, it's actually just booted up in a default mode. I haven't done anything special to it and I'm literally now just going to drop it into the uh, wireless console mode so just hit the uh, menu there and I want to scroll down to the actions and hit next and the top option is actually W console I don't know if you can see that there we go I'll just scroll through the options so you can see at the top there W console I just hit next scroll down to hit confirm and then that actually causes the uh, WLAN Pi to reboot. Uh, it takes about uh, 30 to 40 seconds uh, and that's just so that we can actually rearrange some networking files and uh, tie together a couple of um, uh, Linux packages that we've installed on there. Um, I've got some information about those just very quickly on the GitHub page. Uh, we actually got a number of packages which we've got installed. The main two we're interested in is the host APD package which emulates uh, an access point gives us the wireless connection and then we've got this ser to net um, package uh, which I think is serial to network and they're both standard uh, packages which you can install and we've included them as uh, part of the uh, distribution. It's, it's nothing that we wrote, these are just Linux utilities which are available which is part of the beauty of the WLAN Pi. So here we go now, we can see we've actually rebooted uh, the WLAN Pi into uh, Wi-Fi console, you can see it says Wi-Fi console mode there and it's actually displaying the IP address that we actually want to um, open our session to uh, um, but before we do that I just need to join the uh, SSID that it's broadcasting I'm just going to switch my camera and the WLAN Pi off so you can see here we go oh it's switched back on hang on a second there we go if I actually now go to my list of available networks for my laptop you can see we've actually got the Wi-Fi console uh, SSID and you can actually change the the name of the SSID if you want in a configuration file there's details about it on uh, the um, uh, on the github site uh, so I, I've actually joined this before so it won't prompt me for a password but normally it will prompt you for a, a, a pre-shared key and by default that's Wi-Fi pros all one word lowercase but again you can change that in a um, in a config file uh, so that's just going to join now in the background so I'm just going to fire up my terminal emulation software so we've got our wireless connection to the um, I'll just fire up there we are, just switch the other screens back on um, we've got our wireless connection now through to the WLAN Pi over the uh, SSID that it's broadcasting I'm actually now just going to join 
Um, I'm just going to open, in fact I open a, a Telnet session which sounds insecure on the face of it but remember this is a wireless connection that's um, protected by a pre-shared key so nobody even if they you know can capture the data it's all encrypted over the air so you're not going to uh, have any problems so what we need to do is go to uh, a Telnet session and we don't actually use the default port there are actually a number of ports that have been set up specifically for um, the terminal emulation to give us the wireless uh, console connectivity we've got port 9600 which gives us 9600 bits per second 4800 gives us 4800 bits per second port 2400 etc I'm sure you get the idea so uh, this is going to be a 9600 uh, bits per second connection that I want I've actually got a serial cable connected to uh, the WLAN Pi uh, via a USB adapter and uh, it's connecting to a switch on the desk next to me so if I now open that Telnet session to that port there we go. I just made that a little bit bigger. So I hit return and we're onto the switch. Do me the enable commands, show run. And it's just the same as having the um uh, serial port or my serial cable connected into the uh the switch, but obviously I'm going over a wireless connection now, which is great if you want to um uh, you know, want to sit somewhere a bit warmer than in an equipment room. Um, so the only other thing I wanted to cover, you may sort of wonder, well, okay, that's great. How do I actually get out of uh, console mode or go back to the normal operation? So all we need to do is hit the menu here, go down, hit down to, oh, I missed it, actions, next. And you can see we've got classic mode. Scroll down to confirm boom there we go it's going to do a reboot now and that will come back in the uh, classic mode of operation everything's back to normal you don't have to sort of worry about reconfiguring anything just very quickly if you do want to reconfigure those um, settings for the SSID and the pre-shared key if you go to the um, GitHub site, and I'll probably put a blog post together for this as well. But there is a section there which tells you how to change the configuration options. You basically just get onto the uh, WMPI, edit this file, and you've got a number of fields you can change there to uh, change the settings. So hopefully that's been useful to you, and at some stage. You may uh, pull the W lamp eye out of your bag and it may save you having to sit in a cold equipment room one day, um, which would be great. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, I shall catch up with you again soon. Thanks. Bye.